I buy them on eBay, like oh. 70 bucks. You can talk, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, this is part of what's going on today. I bought a, someone brought me, uh, and I'll talk about it later uh, in the video. Someone actually, I, I have a fan apparently. He knows who I am. His name's Joe, nice guy. I met him today. Um, he brought me a bunch of games and uh, a little bit of random stuff. And I spent $103. That's <laughs> an oddball price. Um, but I'm going to go through that now. Uh, a friend of mine wants this game, and we are doing a quick trade. So this game would not be in the video. So to keep it legit, um, I'm showing it now by on its own. And uh, this is what I'm trading for. Uh, roughly equivalent in value. Okay. I'll show the rest of the stuff in, an in another video, and I'll piece it together then. This is the game stuff I got today. This is from a new friend, uh, Joe. He uh, knows me through... Uh, YouTube, uh, he says he finds stuff. Stuff falls into his hands, so uh, he doesn't have to pay, or he gets it maybe for free or almost free. Um, he brought me some stuff today. Now he actually brought me a lot of stuff, a little bit more than I, I had to was able to deal with it because I'm going away. I'm not really going to do anything. Um, but part of what he brought was the games. I just uh, the music CDs he had, I wasn't really into. Um, some of the other stuff, just not this week. Um, but I always like to get games, and he wanted. To make sure that I uh, got this and made a video and talked about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the most random stuff first, and then I'll wind up with the games. Um, I spent $103 with Joe today. Uh, I bought Shrek, I bought the B movie, and I bought Iron Man. Uh, besides the movies, uh, I got this. This is a Sega Game Gear Blue. It's kind of scuffed up, uh, kind of beat up. It could work. I don't really know. Um, we'll see. They generally don't. Uh, if they don't work, I already know somebody who, if it doesn't work, I already know somebody that wants it. Uh, here's like a gun. Now, normally I don't really do anything with this stuff, so I'm probably going to give it to a, a friend of mine. Um, it, I don't know which game it would be uh, for. There are some PS1 and PS2 shooting games. Uh, here's an HDMI cable. These are cool to get. Uh, you can use them instead of the original cables for your PS3s, your Xbox Ones, and I guess your ps Wars and and uh, I get sometimes some uh, I don't know about your Wii's I'm not sure about that uh, but definitely your PS3's and your uh, your uh, Xbox 360. This I'm just going to straight out give to my friend. Uh, this goes to a game. You have to have the game. These are good for nothing else. A lot of people wind up with the game and they don't have those. I can do nothing with that. So uh, for me that's that's like a. Uh, Nothing I use. Here's a PS1 controller. I actually have a lot of PS1 controllers. Um, there is a PS1 here, so I guess that would go to that. Um, got a Wii U uh, charger. This is the random stuff I decided to go through first. There are a few gems in here and a lot, but it's mostly just like a bunch of random stuff. Um, things that I will put together and, you know, use for other things. Here's a Windows game. I don't know anything about it. I'm going to give that to my friend. Here's a ping pong ball. <laughs> Uh, here's a charger, but this looks beat, beat up. It's probably okay. Here's just a knot of cables. Uh, it looks like in here. I see an AV in here. I'm not gonna uh, take this part. So this is a Sega AV. I guess it's for the original one. There's uh, it looks like a, a, a DS Lite charger, maybe. Um, here's some AVs. And some stuff. So this is just random cables. Yeah, there's a PS2 AV. So let's leave that to the side. This stuff I don't use. This is goes to a phone, I guess. I'll give this to my friend. Uh, this is a Wii recharger battery. These are usually dead. Um, this is some kind of audio thing. This is some kind of extender. Here's a PS1 card. Random. Oh, and here's a Game Boy charger. No, it's not. Uh, this should be probably a slim I guess. Oh and then these boxes there's three of them. They're um, uh, Sega Game Gear batteries. Okay now now on to more the the better stuff and a lot. Now there are three systems here I'm assuming that uh, the PlayStation will work. Now I got two Nintendo NES's I am assuming that they will not work. Uh, mostly because of pin issues right? But cosmetically, they're okay. This one has like little weird paw prints in it. I don't know. Can you see that? It looks like some tiny animal. Whatever. And uh, so cosmetically, maybe they're not the best. Because uh, this one has this sticker. If I try and get the sticker off, it's going to take me a half an hour. So I'm going to make sure. I'm not going to take the sticker off first. I'm going to make sure if it works. If it works, then I'll take the sticker off. If it doesn't work, I'll give it to my friend. He can mess with it or just throw it on eBay. 
Uh, this is missing that cover. You don't really need that cover. These generally work, so I'm not worried about that. Generally, anything like in the top loader family will be good. So potentially out of here, um, I have no clue if these will work. They generally don't. Uh, the, my history with them is very poor in terms of the way. Uh, this should work, but I have to get the AV. It, it requires a special AV, which I may or may not have at home. If not, I got to order off of eBay, and I'll get a bunch of them at this time. And the PS1s often work, uh, and that one looks reasonably clean. Um, this I actually traded. I showed in another video for one of the friends that I... Um, a friend of mine wanted one of the games he wanted, so I just, that was a straight out trade. Um, he had some manuals in here. Now, I don't really, I'm not a fan of books or manuals or whatever. I get this stuff messed up at the flea market. Uh, it's almost annoying for, for me because if it's damp out or, or like birds fly over and crap on it and stuff like that. Um, but uh, there are some good titles in here. As you can see, there's Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, and it was part of the deal. Super Mario RPG, Mario Kart Double Dash. Uh, Star Fox 64, Diddy Kong Racing, uh, Mario Kart 64, GoldenEye Official. I'm probably, to be honest, I'm probably going to give these to my friend also. Um, Banjo Tui, uh, Kirby the Crystal Shards, and Super Mario Brothers Melee, and Luigi's Mansion, which should be for uh, GameCube. All right, um, these are the games that were in the lot for the 100 and then plus three dollars. A lot of the games are nonsense, and a couple of the better ones, are like Nerf and Strikes Elite, I have never been able to sell that game. Lego Rock Band, anything Rock Band is is practically unsellable for me. I will probably just give these games to my friend, and he could lot them on um, eBay, and whatever he gets, I don't even care. They have like basically zero value to me. Um, collabs, elect. Uh, Cabela's Alaskan Adventure. Uh, this is a tough sell. Monster Bass, tough sell, almost impossible. I've had this at the flea market, and nobody ever has the guitar thing, but I'm just going to give it to my friend. He can sell it on eBay. I will not be able to sell it. It's not the thing that they come and look for at flea markets from me. Uh, let me see what I... what I, Most of this lot, I mean, I'm actually going to take very little of it to the flea market. I mean, if I can get the Sega game to work, and I'm not going to do it for weeks, right? If I can get uh, the... Nintendo's to work, that would be great, but I don't believe it. Mini Golf, that's a very hard game. Skylanders, you need the figures. Backyard Sports. Um, I can sell games like this. Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 3. That's a, a random fighting game. People like Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I can take to the flea market. It's a very slow sell. If it's jumped in value, which I doubt, I would probably just list it on Amazon because it is not an easy sell. Um, Kingdom Hearts is something I could sell at the flea market, but it's, it's a slow sell. Capcom Classic uh, Collection, possibly. Uh, Zoids might be a game that's worth, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks. Most of these games aren't even worth $10 or $5. I don't know about Dragon Slayer 3, uh, 3D. I'm not familiar with it. This is a very inexpensive game. Animal Crossings might be $8 or $10. Um, Hitman, uh, PS3. While this is probably a fun game, I don't think it has much value. I've had this one. It's not very valuable. This is not a valuable game. This is more a lot of just um, stuff. Uh, Sonic Free Riders, uh, Battle for Middle Earth. Uh, continuing on. Let me just randomly fix it. Okay. Uh, games like this, I sell them maybe a couple of bucks. So, I mean, if you add everything up, a hundred's fine. You know, I'm not going to be... If I were able to sell everything here... Um, I would certainly more than double my money, but a lot of this stuff, like Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, ESPN Basketball, it, I, I will almost say sometimes that the case has uh, as much or more value than it. Now, you go, ooh, well, you got a Mario Party 6. What are you complaining about? You, you know, you're saying, oh, you didn't really get any great games. Eh? <laughs> but that's fine. The case does have some value. Um, ESPN Football, American Idol, an unsellable game. Uh, to my friend who watches this, you know who you are. I'm going to give you just a stack of these. I don't have the room for this. And just just do me a favor. Lot them and get whatever. Here's some more games I can sell. though: Call, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Diablo. Not an easy, easy, easy uh, great selling game, but Big Brain. Now, Super Paper Mario, let's see if this one's empty. Okay, that's in there. Now, you go, well... That Super Paper Mario, right? Nah, it's like a maybe ten or twelve dollar game. Disney Cars, uh, 
not a great game for selling, um, sh but it is fun. I have tried it. I do test play a lot of games. Lego Batman. Animal Crossing City Folk, I don't know about that one. That may be... I don't know. This is probably eight. No clue on this. Uh, go Diego Go. This is, you know, to, to a kid. Sure, right? And then a game like this has very little value. Um, that's it. That's everything I got. I got game, everything-wise. And uh, the next... Uh, and all I... Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, uh, this is part of what I got today. Um, I'm going to do this as quick as possible. I bought a lot of CDs. Uh, basically, I spent $2 street for five for the CDs because I'm doing a street fair tomorrow and I wanted a lot of CDs. So here we go. I'm just going to zip through these. I think I spent about 180... Uh, 103 plus 85. I spent 188 on the stuff I got today. So, um, see, as you can see, I got good titles like The Doors, uh, More Doors, Sammy Davis Jr., uh, uh, I don't know, Sly and the Family Stone, uh, that's got to be James Brown, Blood Zone, just interesting stuff. Um, you may not be familiar with all these bands, but I know who they are. And here's uh, Bob Dylan, some More Doors, Tom Jones. So, part of what I got today was I bought a bunch of... Uh, CDs because I wanted them for tomorrow. Um, I'm doing a street fair, and that's the kind of stuff that's easy to sell at street fairs, right? And then I also did get some games, which I may take some of those out tomorrow. Um, I, you know, I got to check them to see if they work. And uh, that's a story where someone who apparently I, I have a fan on YouTube, a nice guy named Joe, and uh, he brought me some stuff. And he actually brought me a lot of stuff, but most, I mean, yeah, I can't always use everything. I'm kind of particular, plus I'm going to be taking a break from flea markets for three weeks. I'll just be doing some shopping. Oops, I'm like falling because I'm leaning all the way in over here. So I'll show uh, the stuff I got from him in a couple of seconds, but I'm gonna, this will be part of what I got today. So I'll just be Barry White, Ted Nugent, Mr. Cat Scratch Fever, uh, Stevie Nicks. Boingo Boingo, I don't know if anybody knows that band, but I bought that to, to introduce the band to my daughter, uh, Bawa Wa, and more of the doors. So, oh, and then I'll show, let's see, I'm not going to show the games. Uh, here I did, I showed this, this was a trade, but I'll do this when I do the game. And then I bought these two things. This is a, a smiley bank from the 70s. I only paid a dollar for it. I don't believe it's worth that much. Maybe I can get be, easily, maybe on eBay it would be worth like, 10 to 20 I'm just rough guessing that though but I will probably get like 5 to 10 unless it's worth a lot more than I thought and then this is pretty cool this is some kind of ceramic wall decoration I don't even know what it is but it's spider-man and it's a nice old one it's a little dirty I have to clean up but it was also a dollar anyway um the first video you'll see this is actually probably the last video you'll see besides my space um this uh then I'll show my space and uh, the first video will be the games of course all right, I'm Teaneck. I forgot to fill my space. It's the end of the day. I'm packing up. This is how I set up. Uh, my games here, normal setup, nothing too confusing. Uh, I did uh, the jewelry, two full tables there. Um, as you can see, I'm packing up. Uh, I did that thing in the front row where I tied the tent to the tables, two of the black tables here, two of the small white tables here. And then I ran out of space, so I put... Uh, DVDs in the bucket and uh, then we brought a lot of stuff like clothes today and shoes and whatever I doubt I showed any of it in any of it is wait for the motorcycle guy to go by so we just put a bunch of clothes here uh, it was clothes shoes and just random stuff on the floor oh and here, there's my mirror 